Hi yeah, everyone and welcome back to I Deal With A Team. This is Luca and the game is Elder Link. <coughs> Before I start by playing there is a couple of things I would like to say. There is a few things that I need to point out about the game's lore. First thing first, feels like hardcore mothers and also the names. I noticed that a lot of characters have got leather, which seems weird, but I think they are, they are related. So we've got Radan, Rani, because if you remember her um, body on top of the tower had like marks of leather on her, and uh, Rikard as well. From uh, from the um, <coughs> the what's what's called the the portrait in a uh, volcano Mador. so Rikard as well looks like it's got leather. Also, their names they are quite similar. Uh, we've got Rani, Radan, Rikard. They all start with a R. Same as the Queen American Marika. So again, maybe just you know a coincidence, but. Knowing Mr. Miyazaki and Mr. Jo uh, George R. R. Martin, there's no coincidences. This plot has been studied deeply. So, we've got this little bit of information. Then, talking a bit more into detail, I found Millicent, which, as I already said in the previous video, she's missing an arm. She's got a ladder, even though the name doesn't really, you know, link, but still. She's got leather and um, she seems to be connected to the whole thing. Do you do you guys remember the trailer, vi the trailer video where there was that leather, le leather woman with a prosthetic arm fighting Radan? I know, it sounds f far fetched because at the end of the day, Millicent, she was dying and I saved her. But. You know, again, that thing happened a long time ago, so something may may happen in the meantime. Apart from all of these omens, so yesterday, which is in the last episode for you, um, I found again Margit. He attacked me again. At the beginning, I thought he was dead, but it wasn't because then I, uh, I realized with the help of a friend that. When I fought him in a uh, Starvey Castle, after I fought him, he did tell me that he was gonna chase me and find me and eventually kill me. So I didn't kill him. I kind of dispelled him, kind of thing. And now I found him again, and I saw him taking over a dead body. So again, that's in the last video, so you should know if you follow them. Otherwise, sorry. What are omens? That's hard to say, but that wasn't the first one I saw, because then after I went and checked back my videos, and also with the help of a friend, and uh, I did find some of them. The difference is that they didn't have horns, but from close inspection I can see there was the the markings as if the the horns were cut off. <coughs> the only difference is that. Margit seems to be way more powerful one and secondly he uses sacred magic and uh, so far until now I saw enemies using sacred magic or of course but none of the omens do they usually are physical very physical they don't really do much magic or um, any kind of elemental attack Another big part of the study, of course, is all the demigods that I'm going to fight. And um, what feels weird is that Margit was presented as one of them, kind of. Maybe me only, but that's what it felt like. And um, one more thing, <coughs> what I found here around the capital city, I think it's called the capital city, Lindell, something like that, I don't remember the name, sorry, um, 
I found that monument that said uh, the fell omen uh, was painting up corpses as they were attacking the city. But the only reason you would attack the city is <coughs> to take down the tree. Anyway, <coughs> to attack the tree. But I am on that side because I am allegedly following the two fingers which are um, part of the golden order which spawns from the tree. So why was Margate trying to stop me? This is all I can remember for now and I've been thinking about this quite deeply until now. Um, the story about Rani Radan <coughs> And that's kind of a side story but it's also again in it because um rani if you remember said that she was chosen by the by the tree as an empyrean i don't remember what was that for but she was chosen by the by the tree and the two fingers gave him gave her blade blight whatever you want to call him as a guardian but she doesn't want to be controlled by the fingers, so she planned to slay them. And uh, I didn't finish that that quest yet, so I don't know how does it end. But this makes me think that also Rani, again, being connected to all of these, she was fighting against this order for some reason, probably to keep herself. I mean, she said it, I just don't remember it properly right now. And um, yeah, this is the base story I can I can remember. On top of all of this, there is the um, the studies that the um, the Pope, uh, what was it called? Uh, the big turtle Pope. I don't remember the name. Said about. <laughs> Sorry, I was saying the studies that giant turtle said about um queen marika and uh, i don't remember what was the king the king name um radagon i think something like that now if you think about these two names we got radagon rani you know and then we have marika so um, I, I know this name, I don't know who she is yet properly, but Malenia and uh, there are more names like that. I think also Melina, why not? And uh, so Radagon used to be, um, what's her name, Lenada's husband, then he left her for Marika. So there's two things I can take off from this. Um, first thing first, all the characters starting with a M name and all those starting with a R name are either stepbrothers and stepsisters, or they have been in a relationship anyways. They are family. Secondly, if all these people like even uh now gold doesn't really match up with the last because it's a g name so i'm gonna have to find that properly but still they are all demigods which makes me think they also queen marika and uh, radagon were demigods or full gods one of these two also queen marika is now nowhere to be found but she's not dead is she And uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's all very fuzzy for the time being. I have to read quite a few things, files and uh, descriptions and stuff. But I think I am onto something here. Uh, there's a lot of lore and it's very hard to decipher. So you're gonna have to pardon me if I'm not too precise for now. But this is all I could gather just by, you know, thinking about it. I most definitely forgot half of it because, again, my memory. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to maybe write it down in a little script 
and do a better introduction but i just wanted to do this now because it feels like time because until now i just play the game yeah i did see something i did comment on stuff but i never just you know sat down and made a point now all of this being said i want to go check where uh millicent is why do i want to check that because my friend told me look every time you sit down at a grace or you reboot the game the quest av advances so she's gonna be somewhere I found this, I can leave it here, it's no big deal nothing moves unless I move that's what I think let's see if I find her somewhere I need to go back to the um, to the other place as well because she may be there or the guy Gory may be back and as a matter of fact I'm gonna do that first time God is back please make certain that little Millicent goes unharmed like her mother, she has the stuff to be a great warrior, but commands only one arm and is yet preciously young. So, <laughs> you see, the, the story just keeps on popping up. Like her mother. Who's her mother? Oh, you noticed, did you? Indeed, Millicent did visit this hovel of a home. It seems the memories eaten away by the rotting sickness yet remain, but faintly. However, she has no need of me anymore. No, she must embark on her journey and stare her fate in the eye. I mustn't impede. As I've aged, i found the best way to aid the young is to be forgotten. Since I'm here, I'm just gonna buy this. Do you? Okay, it doesn't say anything else. But it did give me a little bit of information. <laughs> Millicent. Um, Queen Marika. <coughs> Is that the, if that's the case, she's also the demigod. Ooh. Goosebumps. Okay, let's come to check around here, maybe. She moved, she came here, maybe not. Maybe I'm just chasing ghosts. There she is. You see, someone was right. My friend was right. She was gonna be here. And fortunately enough, I knew this was the place I checked the least. Ah, we meet again. In truth, it's been smooth sailing for me. The scarlet rot has stilled since last we met. 
As such, I've been able to continue my journey. Though rather vexingly, I realized that if I still had my sword arm, I could have aided you in battle. Do you wanna help me? Oh yes, finally! <coughs> giving me this arm? Thank you. I am in your debt yet again. I think. If the arm serves well enough, it might be possible for me to wield a sword again. Then try it. The arm, it might be possible for me to wield a sword again. Perhaps then I can aid you in battle. Do you want to aid me in battle? That's the point. And also... Why? What do you think I'm going to do now? She wanted to hit me, but she left. That's not exactly what I would call aiding. Anyway. One second. Let's see if my gut is right. If I'm right, and she's also a demigod. Oh, bad stuttering. I was saying, if I'm right, and she's also a demigod, I may need her help. I mean, she's gotta be powerful, right? God, that's been two days that it just keeps on starting like hell. If you get this on, I'm just gonna reboot the computer and hope that fixes it. <laughs> that's our pro IT professional tip. <laughs> that's how we do after work, guys. Oh 
Okay, let's check around here. Long weapon. Much better. I'm just gonna check around the gray sites because otherwise it's gonna be too much. So why do they move so much? Can't they just stay put? I'm joking of course. I mean, if she didn't come here... What are... What other direction could she take? You know what? Well, since Gory seems to be a uh, person that likes talking a lot, Let's go talk to him again. Let's see if he's got something more to say. I took me in. Twice. It's good. This was just because I didn't know what else to do. <coughs> Okay, now it's sorcery and incantations. Hmm. 
Why do you have it? I go Do you have an interest? Then you might like to learn something of the history of Melania, goddess of scarlet rot. Here he comes. So you gave Millicent a golden arm replacement. This is a wonderful development. Thank you for your kindness. Now, Millicent may fully realize her true warrior's potential. Like her beautiful mother. Again. Tell me more. The girl, Millicent, she is a bird. Green and undeserved, waiting to flower into magnificence. What a wondrous day that will be. In truth, before her, I'd never seen a bard of such superior quality. She might very well outshine her sisters. Sisters. Queen Marika and her King Consort Radigan were blessed with twin demigods. And Melania was one of them. She was born an Empyrean carrying the Scarlet Rod. An Empyrean is no mere demigod. In the age of the Elden Ring and Queen Manica, the precious Empyrean was born, a new god, to forge a new order. Since Melania fought Radan, and the great scarlet flower blossomed in Aeonia, I have dedicated myself to her, and to the resplendence of the order of rot, the cycle of decay, and rebirth. He doesn't say it again, does he? Oh. <sighs> you need to talk more, you f weird thing. Do you need me for something else? Yeah, I would have liked to make uh, to talk to you more about this, but apparently you are done. So let's see if I got it. <coughs> She's the twin of Malenia, or was it definitely to her to Millicent as Malenia? Anyway, now at least I know she's as the demigod as I suspected, and I know she's um, from uh, daughter of uh, Queen Marika as I suspected, and uh, Lord or King, whatever you want to call it, Radagon as I suspected. So yeah, progress is progress. And this is good progress. I, I feel like I'm getting a BL bent on this, but I need to know more. For the last time, I'm gonna take my way to Stench Castle and see if she's there. She might not be there, but at the least I checked. I knew she was important. From the first time I saw her, I knew it. Yeah, guys, you're gonna have to do better than this.
Wait, I could even just teleport in. And I'm also gonna last and make time pass. Because apparently that makes the quests gone. I don't know if it is just visiting <coughs> a grace that does it. If you remember also with the little jar I had the same uh, doubt. But it doesn't cost me anything to just wait. I mean, I will find her here. That's what I would think. Here, or maybe just not too far away from here, anyways. <coughs> ah, I think this is gonna end up bad, but... She wouldn't be here because there's a lot of enemies. Oh, at least that's what I'm assuming. Anyways, yeah, she doesn't seem to be here, so. I think we get back to the city. I think I've seen something that I didn't see before. I oh, don't know. No. I know this. Okay. Let's put the other weapon again. Let's go. So there is a minor L tree down here. I think I'm supposed to go visit it, but there is also a big archer in here. Yeah, that it is. Ok, 
Okay, he's got it against those guys there. <coughs> Okay, buddy, we're gonna have to dodge a few giant others. to isolate one from the other. Mm. There's a lot of people around here. Anything, just I just want to hide for a second. Ah, he's, he's gonna kill the horse. Down. It stutters even in the what, what I'm. <sighs> well, that one is not doing anything to me, so I can't say. Let's go, buddy.
Hmm. I need to reboot the system. Starting too much. Fifty thousand. Okay, see, so this was just another entrance to the city itself, was it? Yes. <coughs> Sorry. Good. I mean, for all the men in my mean. Straight down, okay. kind of scenery up there, huh? I don't even want to know how I'm supposed to get down there. No. First thing first, we use the the runes because it's fifty thousand. Then I remove the system. Then we can talk. <coughs> Mm. 
Yeah. Magic is still my best weapon right now. So yeah, just give me a couple of minutes. I'm gonna reboot the system and I'll be back. Two seconds for you anyways. And I'm back. I rebooted the system. Now let's hope it doesn't start it anymore. And we have a tree avatar or whatever it look like a tree avatar to mess up. Oh, again, stuttering. Oh. I think this area is quite heavy for the computer to load. Okay, buddy. Let's see what happens now. She got killed. And I got stuck. No way. I'm not gonna let you do that to me. So it actually wasn't a tree avatar, it was more like a normal Oh man, let's go check him out so you guys can see in detail Oh yeah, can you see? All the horns were cut off These guys look a lot like Golden Mask. So, two more tears. Almost feels like there's a way down there. 
on that ledge or whatever you want to call it. But no, I'm not gonna try it. So was this all from the minor that tree? Be anticlimactic if you ask me. <coughs> Still, I wonder why there are always two different ways. Uh, also, those dragons are not there anymore. I can kill them once, and that's it. I mean, I should start calling them with their name, golems. Are they? I wasn't even trying to attack you, my god. See what's down here. Don't take it badly, guys. It's just... I would rather do this this way. Every time there is one of those, there is one big one. Every single time. Okay, look. I've got much to lose, and I can can come back to take him. Did he actually see me? Why 
Why do I always get it wrong? He has slapped me back and forth anyways. No, the question is... Oh, that's why he was here. Okay, five minutes, guys, and I'm back. <coughs> Let's go to check. No, oh, we got the boss door right in front of the grace. Is that a jar? Yeah, that's a jar. That's a new thing. So I gotta kill them and jump, jump backwards just in case. It's not even a small explosion. So you have got two ways to go. Can't see anything. Yeah, if I want, I can jump off here. Point is, I don't want, not yet. still here
Oh, yeah. About one level down. No. It's not the same place. Yes, it is. Okay. Come on, come over. The only issue with this elm is that all these are actually block my visual when I am near an enemy. Show yourself. Okay. Damn you. That's gonna be another teleport, right? As much as this one. Yeah, I can bet it's another teleport. There we go.
just for it sunk down. So in theory this place is no big. It's just weird weird mostly. me back here. Unfortunately, this one wasn't too hard. I didn't get out, I couldn't miss that attack. But it did. Be open. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what's next. Killed it. Apparently, they didn't. God knows how long it's going to take me to do this. Just a theory, but I 
I feel it that pan out apparently. Basically there are two overlapping places that are exactly the same every time I take one of these I jump from one to the other. So if I want to stay on the same place I need to take one and then move away without taking another one otherwise I'm going to be teleported back to the previous place. Ask me how I did figure that out. Was kind of a genius moment. And most probably there, are, there is something hidden around there. So this should take me back to the beginning, I hope. I feeling the boss in this place is gonna be kind of a illusionary thing. Oh. My god. <coughs> okay. Let's go take it. Okay, take. <laughs> Taken. I'm not sure which one is gonna be which. Hello guys. A soldier of fortune. Give me quite a few rounds too, something like 15,000 I think. I think I had 27, now I'm 42. There must be something hidden in here, something powerful. I can tell. I just don't wanna go find it now, honestly. Now, will the giant bear be back? Of course it is. What a stupid question. Last thing I want to do is fight that again.
So. I did notice this. Don't think I didn't see it. I just wanted to check before all around. Which is exactly what I'm doing now as well. It looks like a well, maybe. Like Sea of the Eye and uh, the Einzel River one. And I do remember about a well in a node. But if that's the case I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna go down. I just wanna open it and check inside. Okay, just gonna go down, check and come back. Oh that's deep. That's another grave. Oh, that was the side grave. Fair enough. So this is supposed to be more difficult. Basilisks. Oh, golden epitaph. This guy did have the same luck I had. Okay, let's see a little bit of the inventory I found. Starting from weapons. This one I did see already, did I? Yeah, this one too. Okay, here it comes. So it's a sacred weapon. So I there was a three sentinel there, and just was, I mean, uh, not gonna put it was a person to defend the air tree, the minor air tree. So this one is the shield, like the first of the of those guys, um, which is not on video because if you remember, the um, OBS didn't catch up my request to do its thing. I don't remember if it was corrupted. I think it was corrupted the video. Anyways, every time I used to do a um, magic tweet 
you will raise the shield and uh, reflect basically a huge beam of light and the first time I fought it I did the mistake of uh, uh, calling Laterna to me and every time she tried uh, an arrow she would get that in the face <laughs> it was funny Was Maliketh? Okay, one said to serve destined death. Cut skin up apostles, uh, so probably this is finger side. Mother's family, so this is yet another family. So these were the custodians of the Shadow Castle. It doesn't go against my theory with Millicent, but. It was a demigod, but was on the golden order side because symbolized God free, so it was his idol or something. So, also, Malenia has got something to do with the rot, apparently. This low surname, I think it's the same as um, Lord Gideon adopted daughter, what was her name? I don't remember. So Queen Marika when the age of the air tree began so it it started with Queen Marika wow she's gonna be ancient which makes Millicent ancient I think this is talking about Lenara. She's called the Queen of the Full Moon or something like that.
again I think I'm gonna zoom in on this one but you wanna bet that's a prosthetic arm So, before the hell tree, there were the dragons. It's talking about omens here, I think. All also a long lived beast. Ruby's talking about a little beast. of death and I am at the capital that's something I want to go check okay did read this you see a lot of right there Right, went from uh, Elenala to Marika. My god, there's so much to unpack. Samo, you were late. I should have done this way before now. <laughs> There were princesses, now there is one on the land. Were there more, maybe? Godfrey, okay. God win. God rig. That's where it comes from. So there are three families of demigods. Oh, 
Okay. This one is talking about Millicent or Malenia um, teacher. I mean, Millicent and Malenia may be the same person. And it says that it sealed an ancient god, their lot, away. But their lot is out. Is not sealed. Scarlet Goddess, not a god, a goddess. I'm gonna put that. Oh, I'm just gonna get a little bit more comfortable. I repeat, my, my back is killing me because of this chair. I need to buy a better chair. I'm gonna try to explain what I think. So, Millicent or Malenia, which Again, maybe the same person, or they may be sisters. He is the goddess of Rot. Why? The mentor, the blind swordman, apparently sealed it inside of her. And this is one thing that I think I'm taking away from that. Secondly, well, I discovered that there are three different um, families of demigods. And not all of them are actually with the, with the fingers. Alani, for instance, is against it. Well, for some reason it feels like Malini is with it. There was a lot to unpack, I'm just gonna take my time and formulate a theory, a proper theory, but for now, I think I'm starting to understand who Millicent actually is. And god, I think she's dangerous. A little dangerous. So, on this note, on this note, I gotta leave it go, guys, because it's been a uh, quite a while and it took me quite a while to read all of this so I'm gonna try to jump over the things maybe I don't know I I'll do something anyways yeah I'll see you next time don't forget to like and subscribe and comment please comment please just humor me okay make me happy do it let me see that you are there and um, yeah I'll see you next time bye guys